Tonight, we honor the civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., more than 50 years after he died. In his famous I Have a Dream speech, Dr. King said his dream was for everyone to be treated equally. And though he spoke of freedom ringing from the mountaintops, researchers say his first glimpse of that possibility was from this valley in Simsbury, Connecticut. Here's CNBC's Valerie Castro. Once a week, students gather at the Simsbury Free Library to talk about Dr. Martin Luther King's time as a teenager in their small Connecticut town and how to share that story with others. He came here in the summers of 44 and 47. I learned that he worked over the summer at uh, some tobacco fields. Coming to Simsbury, Connecticut was his first time experiencing, you know, away from the segregated South. Students started researching King's time here more than a decade ago as part of a local history project. We wanted to find out what brought him to Simsbury in the 1940s and what the work was like that he was engaged in when he was here. We found a, an audio tape of a speech that he gave in 1959 at the University of Hartford. We didn't know it existed. The speech was the first time researchers heard King speak about coming to Connecticut in his own words. When I was a freshman in college some 15 years ago, several of my fellow students, I joined several of my fellow students in coming to Connecticut to work for the summer on one of the tobacco farms. This was called the Coleman Brothers Farm down uh, near Simsbury, Connecticut. Their discoveries led to a student-produced documentary film that turned their community's attention to this tobacco field where King worked to earn money for school during summers at Morehouse College. And we really are walking in, in the footsteps of, of history. Walker Holmes is the Connecticut State Director for the Trust for Public Land. This is 285 acres of newly protected land. We got involved in 2019. In the past, there were plans to turn this property into a residential community, but the Trust for Public Land, the town of Simsbury, and others came together to save it. It took $6.5 million to protect this property, and that became official at the end of September of this year. And when you heard about, you know, the history of this place, was it an immediate, like, this is something that we have to, to preserve and save? Absolutely. According to the African American Cultural Heritage Action Fund, only 2% of the sites on the National Register of Historic Places are focused on the experience of black Americans. And that is a collective oversight that prevents all of us from really having a, a full understanding of the history of our country. Work to preserve these historic structures is already underway. This is a structure that's more than 100 years old. This is where the tobacco would have been hung to dry. If you look carefully, you can see that it was somewhat of a tradition for the folks who worked on the farm to sign their name on the walls. So there must be dozens of signatures in here. As for King's experience working on the farm, there's still a lot of research to be done. But MLK historians say his time in Connecticut had a significant impact. The experience of leaving the South uh, to go to work at the tobacco farm in Simsbury, Connecticut, was eye-opening. Uh, and we are, as you know, we are a mosaic of all the experiences that we have. This was an experience that helped shape, shape him uh, and helped to influence the person that he would become. And the civil rights leader has clearly influenced the many students dedicated to preserving and sharing his story. I think it's definitely had an impact on me personally of just how I see things and how I will approach things in my life. So it's kind of cool that I can help continue his mission and help share his story. Now that the land is protected, thanks in part to the work of those students, it's likely to be added to, to the Connecticut Freedom Trail. That's a network of more than 145 sites, including schools, homes, churches, and a battlefield, all associated with black history across the state.